It's got a detachable box magazine, which today I was just loading five in it. It's got a simple ladder type sight that goes from one to 1500 meters. All right, you can flip it up just like that, or you just move it up just as simple as that to adjust. I found that it hit a bit high at the 200, so we'll have to adjust with that uh, as I test it. As you can see when we checked the rear sight, it didn't have any adjustment for windage. Well, another thing that makes this rifle interesting is your windage is actually up here in your front sight. As you can see, it's got that slanted notch right there, and then you adjust for your windage right there. Uh, today I shot a bit to the right, but before I mess with it, I still want to do some more tests, see if it was just shooter error or not. Now, another thing I noticed about the front sight is it's pretty thick. So when you're aiming in at a smaller target, like I was, uh, it makes things a little bit more difficult to And here is what really sets the rifle apart. It is a bolt action, but it's a straight pull. And of course you got the stop on empty, you just got to depress that right there, and then send it forward right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the magazine so you can see it. And all you do is a straight pull, and that's it. Now it's also got this ring back here, which acts as a safety. You just pull it out, and over right there, and she's unsafe. Pull it back out, she's cocked. If you ever want to decock it, just stick your thumb in there. Pull the trigger and ease it forward. It is about as easy as it gets. Very, very simple rifle, but very interesting. 